Nur Atira Munira binti Ahmad Asri and my metric number is 281213. Okay, in this video, I will present about the SWOT analysis of Bank Islam Malaysia Berhad. Okay, before we go through to the SWOT analysis, we look first for the BIMB company's background. Okay, Bank Islam Malaysia Berhad was established in July 1983 and it was the first bank that practiced full Islamic banking in Malaysia. One of the main purpose of Bank Islam was established is to provide financial needs to the Muslim population of the countries and to extend its service to the wider population. Bank Islam started operating with a total of 30 employees. As of the end of 2018, Bank Islam has more than 140 branch nationwide with a workforce of more than 4,500 employees. Bank Islam Malaysia Berhad was established with the ultimate vision to be a financial institution that puts prosperity first for all and a mission to provide value generating solution. As Bank Islam is a Sharia compliant financial institution, the products and services provided attract the interest of individuals and entrepreneurs who wish to use the Islamic banking system. Next, we move to the SWOT analysis. The first analysis is the strength of the Bank Islam. Okay, the first strength is awarded as the strongest Islamic retail bank for a second time. Bank Islam has received award as Malaysia's strongest Islamic retail bank for the year 2020 from Cambridge International Financial Advisory for the second time. The first time in 2015. Okay, the award receiving were chosen based on the findings of Cambridge IFA groundbreaking Islamic banking efficiency research which ranked over 130 Islamic retail banks. Bank Islam has laid the groundwork for a strong Islamic banking system and the development of captains and professional in industry. With this award, it can make Bank Islam become well known among the community in Malaysia. Okay, the second stretch is having experienced staff. Okay, most employees of Bank Islam has been employed with Bank Islam for more than three years at this point. This demonstrates that the majority of them are more able to comprehend each step involved in the operation of the bank. Because of their extensive prior experience, they are now able to perform their duties in relation to the bank's operation more effectively. Aside from that, having experienced staff also helps the company's significance to expansion in the market where it has become a danger to the competitors. So from this, We can see that the experienced staff owned by BNB can encourage their company to expand the growth either in local or international markets. Okay, the third strength is wide coverage area of service provides. Bank Islam has established their outlet or branch in every state. It indicates that customer may locate a Bank Islam outlets near them with relative ease in virtually every place of each state. We are all aware that one of the BIMB goals is to contribute to the improvement of social needs. By providing their outlets in every place or state, it can give convenience for community if they want to do some matters that involve banking institution. Apart from the outlets, BIMB also provide ATM machine in every place. The last trend is provide mobile and online banking. BIMB offer online banking service which can be accessed through their internet banking website. With the availability of this online banking, it provides convenience to customer to do things such as checking account, uh, money transfer, bill payment, prepaid reload and so on. 
it also can attract more people to use the service offered by Bank Islam Malaysia Berhad. Okay, Bank Islam also set up a mobile banking application that can be downloaded in their phone, which name uh, Go by Bank Islam application. With these apps, it enables us to enjoy banking conveniently with Bank Islam. Furthermore, this mobile and online banking can be used by anyone who has registered with Bank Islam. So, this will attract more people to use the service provided by Bank Islam Nation Berhad. Okay, next we move to the weaknesses of Bank Islam Nation Berhad. Okay, the first weakness is poor condition of technology management where it involves the management system in terms of the use of ATM machine. Okay, ATM machine sometimes face a problem like system down where customer cannot access to the ATM machine and it always takes a long time for them to repair the machine. Typically, customer will use this ATM machine to make transaction such as transfer or withdrawal of money. If ATM machine are always down, it will make customer feel dissatisfied with the Bank Islam management system. Okay, BIMB online banking platform also having the same problem. A system that is always down will make the customer change their direction to use the online banking service that offered by the other banks. Okay, the second weakness is related with the attitude of Bank Islam staff. Some branch of Bank Islam having a staff who have a bad attitude, such as giving bad service to the customer. There are some customers who complain about the attitude of Bank Islam employees towards them, such as speaking harshly, showing unfriendly facial expression, and disrespecting customers who come to make a deal. If this problem is not fixed, it will give a bad effect to the good name of BNB because more and more people will speak badly about the management system and poor service treatment by BNB. Okay, uh, customer more prefer and are comfortable to deal with bank that show a good attitude and show a high respect to them. If this problem still continues. It will only cause customer to change direction to deal with other banks and this will only reduce the percentage of bank Islam usage in the community. Next, the third weakness is bank Islam only limited to one segment which is uh, bank Islam only involved in banking transaction. This means that bank Islam only provide banking products or service such as personal financing, deposit account, business financing, cash management, and so on. They only provide service in the financial purpose. As for information, there are some Islamic banks that provide extra service like act as a travel agency. Okay, the last weakness is higher annual fees. Okay, in Bank Islam, once a customer opens a saving or current account with Bank Islam, and then uh, they will receive the debit cards, and they have to pay an annual fee of thirteen ringgit. This annual fee will be automatically deducted from the customer's account, even the amount is only thirteen ringgit. But for nine high income customer. It is considered a relative expensive amount, especially a customer who is a student. The high amount of annual fee deduction caused the customer to change direction to open bank account at other banks. Okay, for example, opening a saving account at Maybank. This is because uh, the annual fee that charged by Maybank is only eight ringgit per year and it is relatively cheaper than the fee charged by Bank Islam. There are several opportunities that Bank Islam can take look to increase their company's performance. The first opportunities is government's encouragement. 
one of the incentive from the government which is by raise awareness about Islamic banks among the community. Okay, governments can introduce and expose the public about the advantage of using Islamic bank. When people know more about the advantage of Islamic banking, they will find any Islamic bank if they want to do some methods that involving a uh, banking institution. With this, uh, Bank Islam can take the opportunity to increase the growth of their market widely among the Malaysian community and it will make their organization become well known by the Malaysian community. Besides that, the government's tax cuts on the banking industry also encourage Bank Islam to offer more products and services to its customer. Okay, the next opportunity is increasing in economy activity. Nowadays, there are so many of economy activities that have been established in Malaysia. Example like uh, establishment of business companies, manufacturing, construction project, and various other projects that contribute to the national economy have been implemented. Um, as we know, every project or big business that will be carried out requires a lot of capital outflow and personal saving will not be enough to cover that amount of capital. So, it will encourage a person to make a loan with a bank to raise sufficient capital. In this case, Bank Islam can take this opportunity to offer a loan to the company or individual. And at the same time, Bank Islam can further expand their services and products to the public. Okay, next, we move to the treats that can give a bad effect to the Bank Islam Nation Berhad. The first treat is fake website. Due to the existence of increasingly advanced technology, the number of hackers is also increasing. Thus, it will put a risk to banks that have internet banking platform to be hacked by the hackers. And Bank Islam Malaysia Berhad is not exception from the risk of being hacked. This is because Bank Islam Malaysia Berhad also use internet banking as one of their service providers and many of their customers use that internet banking service. Okay, um, hackers can duplicate Bank Islam websites and get money from the transaction that have been done by Bank Islam customers. Unfortunate customers may be exposed to hacker tactics such as they mistakenly log in their online banking account on a fake website. Okay, the last trick is competitors in providing Islamic banking products and services. Nowadays, Islamic banking institutions are increasingly exposed to the competition in terms of products and services. More Islamic banking institutions are offering more effective and attractive Islamic financial products to customers. The increasing of products offered by the other Islamic banking institutions will pose a threat to Bank Islam Malaysia Berhad. Okay, Bank Islam may be at risk of a decline in the percentage of customers using its service as it is likely that customers have shift their direction to use uh, services offered by the other banks. In conclusion, SWOT analysis is important for Bank Islam Malaysia Berhad in order to know their company's performance. From that, they can improve the weaknesses that they have. So, uh, Bank Islam can remain as the main choice for their customers. Okay, conducting a SWOT analysis also can help the Bank Islam to gain an advantage in promoting Islamic banking products and services over the competition. Bank Islam also needs to identify the strengths and opportunities so that they can optimize and enhance the banking services opportunities. The analysis also helps uh, Bank Islam to identify the potential weaknesses that could affect their banking system as well as threats 
that could affect the bank Islam's progress. Okay, therefore, SWOT analysis will help uh, Bank Islam in the process of making better planning and decision in order to improve their performance on comparable with other Islamic banks. Okay, that's all from me. Thank you.